The race for the White House is still a close one. So close, some analysts say an electoral college tie is a possibility. So what would happen if there's a tie? News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is taking us back to civics class and has the answer tonight from Studio 15. Well, the short answer is Congress would choose the next president and vice president. And one possible outcome of a tie, believe it or not, would be a Romney-Biden White House. Analysts say the presidential race is close, and you can't get much closer than a tie. We're in a partisan age, uh, a country that most of the states are not showdown states. Uh, and so as a consequence, you don't have to move very many of those showdown states to really get into this type of situation. IPFW professor Mike Wolf says the election coming down to a few toss-up states isn't surprising. And in a tight race, an electoral college tie isn't impossible. Some of the people that run the probabilities don't find a very high probability of that, so under 10 percent. But under 10 percent, you know, is a, is a possibility. Play around with different scenarios on an electoral college calculator, and a tie isn't too hard to create. That's just what Allen County recorder John McGauley did. He only changed the outcomes in nine different states, and the election ended up in a tie five different times. You start putting some of these states, you know, the way that polls may be trending, the way that maybe they've gone before, and you, you start coming up with, you know, kind of a, a breathtaking answer that, that this is going to be very close, very, very close. It would be the first tie since 1800 and the first ever under current procedures. Here's what would happen. The newly elected House of Representatives would pick the president, each state getting one vote. It would likely end up... If, if all indications of this election are going, to uh, then go toward Mitt Romney. The Senate would then choose the vice president. The presiding officer of the Senate, in that case, would be the current vice president. So if there were a tie, the current vice president would likely be, end up voting for himself. So you could have Mitt Romney as president and Joe Biden as vice president. Again, a tie is unlikely. And if you want to make your own predictions, you can find a link to an electoral college calculator in the story right now on Wayne.com. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.